The Lionel Mess brand sues the merchandise of a prominent WWE star. Hi there to all of you. Greetings from my channel. I hope today is going really well for everyone. Please hit the subscribe button and give this video a like before the video starts. Lionel Mess is an Inter Miami player right now. Photos via WWE.com and Mess's Instagram. AEW Dynamite Highlights. Adam Copeland's explosive AEW debut sends shockwaves. Continue observing. Even though his time as a football player is drawing to an end, Lionel Messi is still making waves outside of the game. Most recently, he got into a legal spat with WWE superstar Logan Paul. Since joining Major League Soccer MLS in the US, Lionel Messi has been having a great time. He has just debuted Mies plus by Messi a new energy drink. The drink's packaging immediately made many think of KSI's Prime and Logan Paul. The two made their obvious resemblance in a presentation known to the public. Messi's new brand is distributed by Mark Anthony International, which is disputing the allegations. The distributor sued Prime Hydration on October 8, claiming that Logan Paul and KSI's business were engaging in anti-competitive behavior. Mark Anthony disclosed via Dexerto that during the initial release of Mies plus by Messi, Prime requested that the drink's design be modified. The lawsuit emphasized that there was no misunderstanding about brand connotations because consumers could distinguish between Lionel Messi and Logan Paul, two extremely well-known figures. Anthony argued that Prime and Mies plus by Messi were different companies from the viewpoint of the general public, while highlighting Logan Paul's tumultuous past and several controversies in the litigation. Since WWE SummerSlam, Logan Paul has not competed in a match. Logan Paul has, as anticipated, remained loyal to his part-time professional wrestling status and hasn't been spotted in a ring recently. When Paul appeared on WWE TV last, he was the reigning U.S. champion and involved in an amusing rivalry with Lay Knight. After losing the title match tonight at SummerSlam, the Maverick has turned his attention to endeavors beyond the squared circle. Logan Paul and Kevin Nash have been at odds during his break, and their back and forth has become a big topic of conversation among fans. Regarding wrestling, not much is known about when the popular social media user will appear on the scene again, but it was revealed exclusively that the 29-year-old may be matched up in a dream matchup with a WWE icon. A surprising confrontation has surfaced in a world where entertainment and sports are progressively coming together. This confrontation has nothing to do with the typical professional wrestling ring matches or the eye-popping exhibitions on soccer fields. This is a battle between companies, not athletes, and the stakes are as high as any World Cup trophy or championship belt. One of the most well-known football idols in the world, Lionel Messi, is said to have launched a lawsuit against a prominent WWE Stars product, starting a legal battle between the two largest names in their respective fields. With Messi's brand suing and the WWE star in the firing line, this is a situation that is sure to make headlines and cause waves in the entertainment and sports industries. What caused this historic conflict? What is at risk for each party? And how will this unanticipated conflict unfold? We'll delve into every aspect of the dispute between Lionel Messi's brand and the WWE superstar's product in this in-depth analysis from the lawsuit's beginnings to its possible ramifications for Messi and the other WWE star. Fast forward to discover the intriguing story of a brand conflict that has the potential to completely change the sports and entertainment marketing industry. Section 1. The Improbable Collision of Two Universes Lionel Messi and the WWE world appear to be very different at first glance. World-famous football player Messi is renowned for his dexterity, unmatched talent, and calm humility in the locker room. WWE, on the other hand, is known for its loud, colorful characters, intense bouts, and extravagant entertainment. However, the barriers separating sports and entertainment have become less distinct in today's globalized society as athletes from other sports infiltrate each other's spheres of influence. Sports celebrities and entertainment companies have worked together more often within the last 10 years. Non-wrestling superstars have historically been accepted into the WWE and football players, including Messi's adversary Cristiano Ronaldo, 
have made appearances in a variety of roles on the organization's broadcasts. But the current conflict is a legal one based on intellectual property and brand identification, not on cooperation or good intentions. According to reports, Messi's well-known brand filed the case because it believes a popular WWE superstar's product violated its trademarks you know, Messi and is more than just an athlete. He's a global brand. From his sponsorship deals with companies like Adidas, Pepsi, and Gatorade, to his own ventures in fashion, lifestyle, and tech, Messi's name and image are associated with success, precision, and excellence. With millions of fans across the globe and one of the highest earning athletes in the world, Messi's brand is a juggernaut that has been carefully cultivated over years. One of Messi's signature ventures is his clothing line, the Messi brand, which features a collection of high-end athletic and lifestyle apparel. The brand is built on Messi's ethos of hard work, resilience, and humility, qualities that resonate with his fans and customers. The Messi brand, like other major athlete-led ventures, is fiercely protective of its intellectual property and trademarks. With such a powerful global brand, any perceived infringement or unauthorized use of its trademarks is bound to attract scrutiny and legal action. This is where the current conflict with the WWE Superstar's product enters the picture. Chapter 3. The WWE Star at the Center of the Storm on the other side of this legal battle is a top WWE superstar, a larger-than-life character who has built a brand of his own within the world of professional wrestling. The WWE is known for creating personalities that transcend the squared circle, with some superstars becoming mainstream celebrities in their own right. From John Cena and The Rock to Becky Lynch and Roman Reigns, WWE stars have launched businesses appeared in films, and cultivated personal brands that rival those of athletes in other sports. The WWE superstar involved in this lawsuit is no exception. Over the past few years, this individual has become one of WWE's biggest draws, known for his charisma, showmanship, and in-ring prowess. Like many of his peers, this WWE star has expanded his brand beyond wrestling, launching his own line of products that includes everything from apparel to fitness equipment. However, it's this venture that has reportedly landed him in hot water with Messi's brand. According to sources close to the situation, the WWE star's product, a fitness apparel line, bears certain similarities to Messi's brand in terms of design, marketing language, and even logo placement. Messi's legal team argues that these similarities could confuse consumers and dilute the uniqueness of the Messi brand. Whether intentional or not, the alleged infringement has sparked a legal battle that could have serious consequences for both parties. Chapter 4. The Lawsuit, Claims, Counterclaims, and Tensions Rise The lawsuit filed by Messi's brand centers on trademark infringement, unfair competition, and brand dilution. Messi's legal team claims that the WWE star's product, particularly a line of high-performance athletic gear, uses elements that closely resemble the design and branding of Messi's apparel line. These elements reportedly include a stylized logo that features a similar font and color scheme to Messi's own branding, as well as marketing slogans that echo Messi's signature catchphrases used in his promotions. In their legal filing, Messi's representatives argue that the similarities between the two brands are too close for comfort and that the WWE star's product could confuse customers into believing they are purchasing an item endorsed by or affiliated with Messi. Given Messi's global reach, his team insists that the brand cannot afford to allow any potential dilution of its identity. The lawsuit is seeking damages for lost profits and harm to the Messi brand's reputation as well as an injunction that would prevent the WWE star from continuing to sell the disputed product. Messi's legal team is also requesting that the WWE star and his business partners make significant changes to their product's branding and marketing. For the WWE star, this lawsuit is a major challenge, as it threatens not only his side business, but also his personal brand within WWE. While the star has yet to publicly respond to the lawsuit, Sources close to the situation suggest that his legal team is preparing a robust defense, arguing that any similarities between his product and Messi's are purely coincidental, and that there is no intent to infringe on Messi's trademarks. Chapter 5. The Courtroom Showdown. Legal Drama Unfolds. As the lawsuit progresses, 
the courtroom drama is expected to draw significant attention from both sports and entertainment media. Legal experts have already weighed in on the case, with some suggesting that Messi's